A tibial plateau fracture is a serious injury of the leg right below the knee. When does that injury require surgery and what does that surgery entail in terms of recovery? I answer a question from a viewer about that next. My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. And as my videos have been the last few weeks, this video is part of my Ask the Doctor video series based on questions you've left me in response to comments to the videos on my channel. So let's talk real quickly about a tibial plateau fracture. This is the top of the shin bone right below the knee. And typically it requires a lot of force. It could be motor vehicle accident or a pedestrian hit by a vehicle, it could be a fall off a bicycle or motorcycle. It can happen as you get older with less force, but in younger people, people in their teens, 20s, 30s, even 40s, it requires a lot of force. Most often, tibial plateau fractures need surgery. There's exceptions to that. If it was a tibial plateau stress fracture, that potentially could heal with a period of non-weight bearing. Or if it's a certain type of tibial plateau fracture where it lines up perfectly in exactly the right place, the fracture fragments do. In theory, you could make somebody completely non-weight bearing, put them in a brace that allows the knee to bend, but it prevents any side to side motion, and that would heal without surgery, but that's not terribly common. And the reason is if there's any step off of those fracture fragments at all, you have to remember that fracture is going into the knee joint, into the what we call the articular surface of the tibial plateau. So if that's off a millimeter or two, again, just a millimeter or two, let alone more, then uh, long term, that not being lined up perfectly, it's not going to heal perfectly, it's not going to be smooth when it heals, and very quickly is going to lead to arthritis. Also, the higher energy injuries typically have fractures in multiple pieces, and it's not going to stay in one piece the way you want, even with non-weight bearing, so it needs surgery. As far as the type of surgery, it depends a little bit on exactly the nature of the fracture, how many pieces it is, which side of the tibial plateau it is. So sometimes it could be sort of a two-part surgery where they put what's called an external fixator, which is those bars and pins outside the knee, leave that for a few weeks, and then come back and fix it with plates and screws or it may be just a plate and screws right off the bat. It just depends on the nature of the surgery. That would be a decision made by the orthopedic surgeon at the time. After surgery, it really is a multi-step process and a long process of recovery. Again, first, it's getting that bone, that tibial plateau to heal in the right place. Even though the plates and screws are there, they're holding it in place over the six, but more likely 12 weeks or more while that bone heals. So there's gonna be a period of time, at least six weeks, but sometimes longer, of very limited, if any, weight bearing so that that doesn't disturb the fracture healing. But again, usually after six or 12 weeks, you can start putting weight on it. Then it's, and even during then, there's gonna be a process of getting the knee range of motion back, which is surprisingly difficult, but getting full range of motion back. And then it's about getting strength back and functional ability back. All in all, it can be six months before somebody can get back to aggressive physical activity. And it can sometimes be a year, sometimes more than a year in terms of it feeling normal, say with sports or you know being as strong or as good as it was before. It's a very, very difficult injury. But having said that, very, very often surgery is the best and sometimes it's the only option. Now, if you have an orthopedic injury and you want to hear about options other than surgery and other than cortisone shots, I might be able to help. Click the link in the description under this video. You can fill out the contact form to potentially schedule an appointment to see me. I'd also love to hear your experience with your injury. Leave those in the comments below this video. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't offer you medical advice there, but I might answer your question in a future video like this one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my live shows, my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you feel, look and perform better than ever.